Today, we're going to be talking about OI Countdown. Now, OI Countdown is a very useful app because it allows you to set a timer for a certain period of time. Now, here you can see this is the start screen because we have no timer set right now. So we can put a name, and I'll say I want to. I have a pizza in the oven, and I want to take it out in ten minutes. So I simply put that to ten minutes, and I choose the notification options. Now you check it off what you want. So if you want the phone to vibrate, you want a light to go off, you want it to ring. You want all this, you just check those off. You can also check off an action, which allows automation tasks and open up different items. Okay, so I'll click start. And as you can see, the countdown automatically begins. And you can stop it if you want, or you can start it. Now if I were to go back to the main menu, you can see that you can have multiple tasks here. And you can see this one's still running, but if I want to, I can go Menu, Add Countdown, and you have the option to create another. So let's say I want to go take a nap for an hour. Just click that and then Start. And now I have the ability to take an hour nap. Now, to see what happens when we actually, alarm actually goes off, we'll fast forward through this. So you can see the countdown's almost finished, and the notifications that we have checked off are notification status bar, ring, vibrate, and light. The notification status bar allows you to dismiss it quickly by dragging down the status bar, such as doing that, and it'll appear there. Also, the vibrate, which you will not see here, a lot makes your phone vibrate. And the ring function allows, uses your default ringtone and ringtone settings to alert you. Unfortunately, on the emulator, the only option is silent, so that's why you aren't hearing anything right now. But your alarm will be going off for the predetermined time you have set, which you set in the settings. So if we were to go and dismiss this alarm, you drag down. And click on the notification, and as you can see, it's been disabled. 